Oh, this is really pretty. Really pretty. Big dining room for at least eight people. Really lovely window coverings. Excellent trim. Good drywall finish. This is the way in from the garage. Either a front door access like that or in from the garage. This house, uh, so a colleague of mine sell, sold this vacant land to these people. Oh, check it out. Rear garage door. That is cool. <laughs> That's so you can go out there and snow blow the backyard. We'll find out what's back there. Anyway, so a colleague of mine sold this vacant land to these people in 2007. And they built this house. So that's the age. And again, furniture store, access to all the latest, greatest. This is a uh, mudroom off, or not really, well, I guess office, yeah. They're kind of using it like an office as well. And laundry. Wow, that's called a drying cabinet. So you put things on hangers and you put them in there to dry. Never seen such a thing. Or, oh wow, that is so cool. And you have stacking. Hot tub back here. Big old yard. Buffalo, Wichita and Chief. Fire pit. Peak one right through here. The back of the house. Just as lovely as the front. And there's that extra garage door on the back with a little concrete pad. Wow, this is awesome. This is a wide plank oak floor, I think. So now we have kitchen, gas, Kenmore Pro. That's the top of the line for Kenmore. Pantry. This is a Pete Campbell built house. Huge big island. Bar, wine bar. Industrial size fridge. And then this outdoor living area. Again, we were just out here, but there's another way out. And these are fun party lights underneath here. The yard is huge. It goes way out there, like to that far corner. This deck is trexed. Three ways in, three sliding doors to this deck area. Can we go back in the way it came? <laughs> Actual main entrance. Living. God, this is gorgeous. Just so beautiful. A kind of combination of traditional and mountain. This is a flat mosaic tile that's gas fired. This is a, I think, like a alder with a walnut stain. Custom curtains. And we have an office right here with pocket doors. Right on the front of the house. Okay, so 
So it could have gone up. There's an up over there. We go up right here. Fun little place to sit at the landing. Slate toe kick. And up here, this is bedroom number one. I think this is, would you call this the primary, Rhonda? Call it. Is this the primary? Master, we used to say? Oh, yeah, there's his and hers bathrooms. This is his and hers closets. Our closets Built-in cabinets in there. Yeah, everything's built in. And then this room has beautiful pounded copper. That, oh my God, that's cool. <laughs> And glass shower, double sinks. The views are awesome out each one. That, the backyard is massive. Massive backyard. Big old pantry. It's not big. It's just that deep right there. Like eight inches, but lots of shelving. Really lovely carpet. Okay, so then we have another workspace. So we've seen three workspaces, one in the laundry room, one in that room that's adjacent to the living room downstairs and right here. Once again, every single window has a view. There's a standing seam metal roof. That's always handy. Then we have mm, adjacent guest rooms. Oh my God, this is cool. Look at that cool mosaic. Those are all like Polaroid photos. Oh, that's so nifty. Oh, and there's number nine, and that's Duchesne. Matt Duchesne, I think, right? Um, he does not play for the abs anymore, I don't believe. Big walk-in, all organized. And then adjacent to this, so that room has its own bathroom, and this one probably does as well. Another closet with big built-ins. Clear story win or uh, transom window. That is so cool right there. It's a guest room. I just love this house. Okay, so then there's a room above the garage too. From the stairs near the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Four bedrooms total plus the office. Um, no, three bedrooms plus the office, and we could. One, two, three, bedroom. four. But well, the yes, four with the office. With oh well, wait, I just saw three. And an office. The office. And then this is like another family room. Oh, but so it's not technically a bedroom. It's well, just another it big room. Bedroom because there's a bath. Okay, so this is in the space between the garage and the house, or over the garage. Again, that's the front of the house. And we're in Frisco Heights, which is unincorporated. I'll come back to that. Um, Unincorporated Summit County. That's true right here, right? We're not yes, in the town. Yes, County. And um, keep your taxes low and no. Only taxes home. low, no transfer tax. Uh, well and septic. It's connected to sewer, but on a household well. Oh, that's the best combo. Yes. That's yeah, the best combo. Here. Connected to sewer, there's but and there's a Murphy bed. So this is like the party room, and all, these under the eave storage closets are all going to be the same. There's four of them. Yeah, oh, there he So gobs of storage. Like that's eight feet deep, or six feet deep, maybe six feet, five or six feet wide. There's also storage downstairs too. The entire lower level of the house, there's storage. Like there's a crawl space? Mm -hmm. or? Okay. Right, you can stand up in. Awesome. And then this is a three quarter bath for the party room. Oh man, I love this house. It's nice. I love the collection of 
very traditional white trim and paint colors together with the setting and the features that are like more mountainy. It's kind of timeless, really. And it's furnished. furnished with it's like an interior decorator. Everything, or will it be a list of exclusions? Uh, I just did an inventory. Okay, so maybe like artwork and some It'll personal stuff. Yeah, okay. Artwork and, artwork's probably going to be excluded because it's a lot very personal. Okay, let me 